Hello everyone and welcome. In this video, we're going to be talking about trimming your video files in Windows 10. Let's go ahead and get started. The first thing we need to do is to locate the video files on your computer. If you used OBS Studio to record your videos, they should be in your videos folder. I'm going to press the window and the E key on my keyboard and that will bring up File Explorer. Alternatively, I can double click on my computer icon on my desktop. Either way, you get to Windows Explorer and you can click on your videos folder on the left hand side under either quick access or under your computer's name. In order to trim the video you simply have to right click on it, go down to open with and select the photos app. When the photos app starts you'll notice that your playhead is already moving. Click the pause button and then go up to the upper right hand corner and select the edit and create button. Select trim from the drop down menu. In the window that appears, the blue circle at the bottom represents the location of your playhead at that moment in time. If I were to click the play button, notice that the playhead starts to move to the right. The little white circles on the left and right hand side of the timeline are the in point and out point of the video. In order to trim the video, you need to click on the playhead and drag it to the location in the video where you want the video to start. Then, select the in point by clicking on it and dragging it over to that location until it snaps into place. Then scrub your playhead to the end of the video and find the location where you want your video to end. That looks good for me. And then click and drag on the out point to that location and it will snap into place. From here, you can click the play button and play your video to make sure that your in point and out point are set accurately. And once you are happy with your in point and out point settings, you can go up into the upper right hand corner and select the save a copy button. Your video will process and once the processing is completed, then you can close your photos app. Back in your videos folder, you'll notice that there are now two videos that are named almost exactly the same, except one has an underscore trim at the end of it. That's the trimmed video that you just exported. If you want, you can double click on that to make sure that that video is exactly as you want it. And once you're happy with it, you can right click on the original video and delete it. If you haven't yet renamed your video, this is a great time to do that because you're probably going to get, want to get rid of the underscore trim at the end of the video name anyway. So right click on your video, select rename, and then rename it something that makes sense to both you and your students. At this point, your video is ready for your students to watch it. You can now upload it to YouTube, or save it to your Google Drive, and then link it to either Seesaw or Google Classroom. I hope this video has been helpful, and I hope you have a great day.